The history of coffee. Now there is a whole wealth of books and information available online about the history of coffee, but I think it's important for this course for us to talk about the heritage of coffee, where these beans came from that we so easily hold in our hands now. The word coffee, and I will pronounce this wrong, derives from the word kahwa. Now, kahwa means wine, and originally coffee means, if <laughs> very loosely translated, dark wine. Now, coffee origins are rooted in Ethiopia. And it's actually in Ethiopia, on the highlands where still some of the most beautiful coffee in the world grows, that coffee originated with the goat herder Kaldi. Now, legend has it that Kaldi noticed his goats were eating a particular fruit from a particular tree. They became very excitable and very energetic, and they refused to go to sleep. So, he gathered up some of this fruit, and he went to the abbot at his local monastery, and the abbot made it into a drink. And then the abbot realised that it kept him awake and him really energised through the long evening prayers. And it was in the Arabian Peninsula that coffee houses began to spring up. People were drinking coffee at home and in these coffee houses. And what happened was in the coffee houses, people were sharing cultural ideas. They were sharing knowledge. They were sharing entertainment and commerce. Thousands of pilgrims came to Mecca every year and they were introduced to this new drink and they took it back with them across the globe. In Europe, coffee houses began to spring up and they energised a workforce. Some of the most famous companies in the world were founded in the coffee houses of London, the most famous of all being Lloyd's of London. After Europe, the Americas. It was after the American War of Independence that coffee really spread to North America. And it was at this period that merchants realised they had to find new sources of coffee. The first to really make it were the Dutch, who took their seedlings to Indonesia and planted them in Java and Sumatra. And it was there that they cultivated some of the best coffee in the world at the time and became incredibly successful.